then it would have been 24 and a half minutes instead of 25. My friends of ours, they were in their cars and they're like, And with that, we officially kick off the Hobo Day Parade this morning. First in our parade lineup, we have the Army ROTC Color Guard presenting the colors. joined by his wife. This year's Grand Marshals are Coach John Stigelmeyer, also known as Stig, and his wife, Lori Stigelmeyer. Coach Stig is the winningest football coach in SDSU football history. Along with bringing home the national championship title this past January, Coach Stig was awarded the Eddie Robinson Award and FCS Coach of the Year Award. His wife, supporting him along the way, made a tradition of her own to make the football team Rice Krispie Bars after Following our parade marches this morning are Weary Will and Dirty Lil in the 111-year-old Bummobile, uh, a 1912 Ford Model T driven by 2022 Holiday Grand Puma Reagan Weirich. This year's Weary Will is a current faculty member who plays the bagpipes and worked at four different radio stations over 29 years. 
He also used to have his private pilot's license and graduated from SDSU with a Bachelor of Science in Broadcast Journalism and stayed at SDSU to receive his Master's in English. A fun fact about Derby Lills is she danced for a minimum of 12 hours in the 1973 dance for the Strippy Dance Marathon fundraiser, which ran for 30 hours. Incredible. Thank you so much, Derby Lills and Derby Lills, for joining us this morning. incredible in their new uniforms. Hopefully you all caught the pride like last year's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Nick and I are both former members of the Pride of the Dakotas Marching Band as well. ago in front of the Pride of the Dakotas Marching Band, you saw the SD State Spirit Squad, comprised of the SDSU Dance Team and the SDSU Cheer Squad. The SDSU Dance Team is comprised of 31 of the most elite dancers in South Dakota. They perform at all home football, basketball games, and select volleyball and wrestling matches. The SDSU Cheer Squad is comprised of 25 women. They inspire school spirit and perform from September through April at all home football and basketball games. Good morning, morning Dr. Dr. Reynolds, Reynolds, Director of the School of Performing Arts. Next up, we have the President of South Dakota State University, President Barry Dunn. Woo! Barry Dunn was named the 20th President of South Dakota State University in April 2016 and is the fourth alumnus chosen to lead the institution. He assumed the office May 23rd, 2016 and is joined this morning by his wife, Jane. Happy Hobo Day to President Barry Dunn and First Lady Jane Dunn. Up next, we have the Army ROTC Cannon, which kicked off the parade this morning. <laughs> That'll wake you up. <laughs> It is an incredibly beautiful morning here in Brookings, South Dakota. We're thankful that the rain has stopped this week. Uh, we're really thankful to the city of Brookings for providing such a beautiful landscape to host the 2023 Hobo Day Parade. Each year, the SDSU community relies on the kindness of the city of Brookings to make this tradition happen. And one important component of the Brookings community is the Brookings Fire Department. The fire department is a volunteer department made up of 45 dedicated volunteers. In 2022, the Brookings Fire Department ran 275 calls for service and had over 9,200 volunteer hours. Good morning and happy Hobo Day once again to the Brookings Fire Department.
admire these lovely trucks, let's give another thank you to Best Choice Realty for sponsoring our live stream. If you're parading around town looking for a new home this weekend, then you need to call the grand poobas of the real estate market, Best Choice Real Estate. They'll help you find a home that floats your boat and your budget. Best Choice Real Estate has been number one in the Brookings market for over 25 years. Call them at 692-9200 or visit their website at brookingshomes.com. Up next, we have the Aurora Fire Department. This is the Aurora Volunteer Fire Department based in Aurora, South Dakota. They have over 30 volunteers serving the Aurora and Bushnell communities and surrounding farmers, ranchers, and businesses. Good morning and happy Hobo Day to the folks from the Aurora Fire Department. Take a look at that 1949 Studebaker. Very cool. Next up, we have the Arlington Fire Department. They serve the area surrounding Arlington in both Kingsbury and Brookings counties. With 20 members and six trucks, they respond to structure and wildland fires, as well as accidents and mutual aid calls. If you're interested in serving on your local fire department, contact your city office or any firefighter for more information. Rounding out our set of first responders in the Hobo Day Parade this morning is the Brookings Ambulance. The Brookings Ambulance, providing emergency and non-emergency advanced life support services for the Brookings community since 1974. Save the date for the Day of Giving on November 28th, raising funds toward a new ambulance. We have a second Brookings Ambulance. I see why they're raising funds for a new one. <laughs> Here we have the Construction Management Club and the Student Nurses Association. The Student Nurses Association gives future and current nursing students the opportunity to take part in a variety of activities with fellow classmates. Members can get involved with SNA by attending our various events and volunteer opportunities to help develop our future heroes of the world. The Construction Management Club provides students with access to industry leaders and companies to expand member access in the job market. The Construction Management Club also develops members through leadership opportunities, connections with fellow classmates, and community service. Good morning and happy Hobo Day to SDSU President Emerita Peggy Gordon Miller. And happy
Happy Hobo Day to our South Dakota State Athletics Department. With 19 sports competing at the NCAA Division I level, the Jackrabbits have claimed 68 regular and postseason league championships in 10 different sports since the 2009-2010 season. In the classroom, Jackrabbit student athletes continually post a GPA of 3.2 or higher in more than 70 different majors. Good morning, Jackrabbits! Just an awesome crew of SDSU student athletes here this morning. Happy Hobo Day! Up next, we have Miss South Dakota, Miranda O'Brien. Happy Hobo Day, Miranda, a former Hobo Day committee member herself. We are so glad to see her this morning. We also have Miss SDSU, Katie Milbrand. Good morning and happy Hobo Day, ladies. It's the Chester Flyers Marching Band. The Chester Flyer Marching Band is under the direction of Amy White. Drum majors are Aaliyah Jones and Caitlin Hoobling. The band is playing Jerry Lee Lewis's classic rock tune, Great Balls of Fire. Thank you for being here this morning, Chester. Next, we have Rolling Thunder. The major function of Rolling Thunder Incorporated is to publicize the POW MIA issue to educate the public that many American prisoners of war were left behind after all previous wars and to help correct the past and protect future veterans from being left behind should they become prisoners of war or missing in action. They're also committed to helping American veterans from all wars. Good morning and happy Hobo Day. Here we have the Brookings City Council. The Brookings City, uh, City Council consists of Mayor Oak Niemeyer, Council Members Nick Wendell, Andrew Rasmussen, Wayne Avery, Bonnie Specker, Brianna Doran, and Holly Tilton Ryan. We also have the Sports and Recreation Management Club, made up of students pursuing this major. These hobos are given amazing opportunities throughout the school year by following their dreams of becoming Big League Jacks. Make sure to follow at SD State SRM on social media. Go Jacks!
and a happy holiday to Lambda Chi Alpha. Lambda Chi Alpha inspires and equips men to lead an ethical life of growth, service, and leadership. Help sponsor the Lambda Chi Alpha football run. All proceeds go to Feeding South Dakota. You can help donate by scanning the QR code on their truck. With an incredible flow this morning, I have to say, we have the student collaboration for the advancement and promotion of pharmacy, also known as SCAPP. The student collaboration for the advancement and promotion of pharmacy is a professional organization representing student pharmacies in the professional and pre-professional programs. SCAPP provides student opportunities for patient care, professionalism, community connections, and education. And next up, we have El Riyadh Shrine Watertown Unit, Provost Unit, and the El Riyadh Shrine Clowns. The mission of the Shriners is to provide the highest quality care to children with neuromusculoskeletal conditions, burn injuries, and other special health care needs within a compassionate, family-centered, and collaborative care environment. Their mission also provides for the education of physicians and other health care professionals who conduct research to discover new knowledge that improves the quality of care and quality of life of children and families. Up next, we have the Medical Laboratory Science Club. This is a student-led organization for the Medical Laboratory Science Program. Students in this club show interest in the various areas of the clinical laboratory and learn to become the detectives of the hospital. For these students, all rails lead to the lab. Happy Hobo Day to distinguished alumni, Kim Tyler. Tyler, a commercial economics graduate, had a 31-year career with the Kellogg Company, retiring as Vice President of Alternative Channel Sales. She is a co-chair of the SDSU Foundation's Bold and Blue Campaign, which seeks to raise $500 million in private funds. Here we have the Mickelson Middle School Marching Band from Brookings, South Dakota, comprised of 7th and 8th grade band members. The band is under the direction of Jeff Soka. The middle school band has over 220 members, grades 6 to 8, and is part of a comprehensive band program directed by Mary Cogswell in the 5th grade and Isaac McMahon in the high school. The 125-piece Mickelson Middle School Band is excited to perform for you at this year's Hobo Day. Very good morning to the Brookings Rangers. Here are your Brookings Rangers. Come enjoy a good game of hockey and cheer on your Rangers at the Larson Ice Center. Up next, we have the ladies from Alpha Z Delta. The SDSU chapter of Alpha Z Delta was, nas uh, was nationally founded in 1893 and came to SDSU in 1968. Their local philanthropy is the Foster Network out of Sioux Falls, and last year they were able to raise over $10,000 for the Foster Network. Alpha Z Delta strives to help their members realize their potential. And a very good morning to the Black Student Alliance. BSA is an organization that offers black students a form of identity and a social life with diverse activities with a direct emphasis on African American culture. BSA is open to all students no matter their racial identification. Joining us this morning, we have folks from the Brookings Domestic Abuse Shelter. The Brookings Domestic Abuse Shelter is a small group of thoughtful citizens attempting to make a difference where we can, committing our efforts to assisting victims and survivors enduring domestic violence, sexual assault, human trafficking, and stalking. Thank you for being with us this morning. Our next entry is the Agronomy and Precision Ag Club. The South Dakota State University Agronomy and Precision Ag Club is a highly active group of around 80 students who are interested in learning more about the agriculture industry, enhancing their education, and participating in industry-related events throughout the country. They also participate in and host multiple events every year that promote agronomy and agriculture on campus, in South Dakota, and around the United States. The 2023 Agronomy and Precision Ag Club Hobo Day Parade Float is proudly sponsored by Kibble Equipment.
marching down Madari Avenue, we have the Flandreau Marching Band. The Flandreau High School Marching Band is under the direction of 2006 SDSU graduate Pat Waite. It's made up of 36 students in grades 9 through 12. Today, they will be performing Break My Heart by Dua Lipa. marching band is Brookings Taekwondo. Jackrabbit alumni Mark and Kelly Anowski have owned and operated Brookings Taekwondo for over 10 years. They offer family-friendly martial arts training for all ages. Come check out Brookings Taekwondo at 919 Main Avenue South. Happy Hobo Day and go Jacks! Here we have the STARS Special Training and Riding Skills. This is a nonprofit organization that teaches basic horsemanship and uses horses to benefit riders physically as well as emotionally. Staffed with a combination of experienced riders and compassionate volunteers, STARS offers a safe environment for riders of various ability levels. Distinguished alum, Tim Chismowski. He is a dairy manufacturing graduate who retired in May 2022 after nearly 40 years in the cheese industry. The last 12 with AgriPure, an international dairy firm, where he was its Midwest Vice President for U.S. Operations. While serving the industry globally, Tim, a native South Dakotan, has been instrumental in helping grow South Dakota's dairy industry and has encouraged investment in SDSU dairy programs and students. Congratulations to, once again, to distinguished alumni, Tim Chismowski. Next up, we have Dakota Drifters. The Dakota Drifters is a snowmobile club that promotes snowmobiling. We have monthly meetings during the winter months. Poker charity rides welcome all people to enjoy the rides, and they support and promote all snowmobile entities that will bring positive impact to the sport. They raise money in numerous ways to support the community with needs that the group feels are beneficial to the community they live in. Happy Hobo Day, Dakota Drifters. Up next, in this fantastic horse-drawn carriage, we have the South Dakota State University Deans. With us this morning are Dean of the College of Agriculture, Food, and Environmental Science, Joseph Cassidy. Dean of the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Science, Lynn Sargent. Interim Dean of the College of Education and Human Sciences, Victor Taylor. Dean of the Jerome J. Lohr College of Engineering, Sanjeev Kumar. Dean of the College of Nursing, Marianne Croak. Dean of the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Sciences, Dan Hansen. Dean of the College of Natural Sciences, Charlene Wolf Hall. And Dean of the Library, Christy Tornquist. We 
also have distinguished alumni Jeff Eckhoff. Eckhoff, a sociology graduate, serves as the Director of Planning and Development Services for the City of Sioux Falls. His career has focused on business development and includes 16 years as Executive Director of Lincoln and Minnehaha County Economic Development Associations. Once again, we want to say thank you to Best Choice Realty for sponsoring this year's live stream of the Hobo Day Parade. Homes are selling quickly, so get jacked to buy or sell your home with Best Choice Real Estate. Their, full, their team of full-time agents are standing by to not only assist you with your real estate needs, but cheer you on every step of the way. Best Choice Real Estate has been number one in the Brookings market for over 25 years. Call them at 692-9200 or visit their website at brookingshomes.com. Thank you again to Best Choice Realty. A very happy Hobo Day to the men and women's rugby club. Rugby is a free-flowing game known for not having pads and passing the ball only backwards. SJC Rugby Clubs are competitive sports clubs that compete throughout the Midwest. It's a great way to stay in shape, make connections, and create lifelong friendships. Happy Hobo Day, rugby players! Up next, we have the Nutrition and Health Sciences Club. The Nutrition and Health Sciences Club is made for students who are passionate about food, nutrition, and living a healthy lifestyle. The club offers a variety of opportunities, including guest speakers, discussions, and experiential learning activities to teach students about food, nutrition, wellness, disease prevention, and sustainable food systems. The NHS Club is committed to making a difference in the community through health awareness campaigns, volunteer opportunities, and campus and community initiatives that promote nutrition education among diverse populations. Whether you're a nutrition major, a fitness enthusiast, or simply someone interested in leading a healthier lifestyle, the NHS Club welcomes you with open arms. And a very good morning and happy Hobo Day to the dual high school marching cardinals. Sounds like they're treating us to some Katy Perry this morning, Nick. Nothing I love more in the morning. Thank you once again to the Duel Marching Cardinals. Up next, we have folks from Little International. Little International is the largest two-day student-ran livestock expo in the nation. Little International is made up of 160 staff 
on 45 different committees. Little International will take place on April 5th and 6th, 2024. Up, we have the Brookings Humane Society and Midwest Maidens Roller Derby. Rolling onto the parade this morning, their mission is to shelter, to protect, to educate, and to promote the community's animals and pets. Midwest Maidens Roller Derby are Brookings' hometown roller derby league, and they will be starting their seventh derby bout season this coming spring. Up next, we have SDSU Provost, Dr. Dennis Hedge. Good morning, Provost Hedge. Happy Hobo Day. Next up, we are treated to the musical stylings of the Oasis College Ministry Praise Group. Oasis is the college and young adult ministry of Grace Point Church here in Brookings. They meet at Grace Point on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. with small groups happening throughout the week. They would love for you to come check it out. Up next, what's going on? It's Stateathon! Stateathon is the largest student led organization at SDSU. They raise thousands of dollars each year to support children and fami families in the Sanford Children's Hospital. Happy Hobo Day to Stateathon! The South Dakota State University Pheasants Forever chapter is one of only three collegiate chapters within the national nonprofit organization of Pheasants and Quail Forever. Their chapter strives to involve college students in Pheasant Forever's mission by providing a variety of hands-on experiences through educational meetings, chapter hunts, habitat projects, professional development trips, the annual banquet, and more. Here we have the SDSU Horse Club, comprised of members from all different majors. To be a part of this club, a member needs to have an interest or passion for horses. During the school year, the horse club members get to participate in trail rides, roping activities, and rodeo nights. The horse club wants to formally invite the Brookings community to the horse club petting zoo at the horse unit on October 21st. Please provide a donation of a canned food item. And here we have District 7 representative, Melissa Heerman. The Pride of the Dakotas Marching Band Alumni Chapter allows members to continue to be a part of something that was meaningful to them during their time at SDSU. It also provides opportunities for networking and building relationships with other alumni. The chapter is a great way for former band members to stay connected to their alma mater. We also have the Taylor Swift Society passing us right now. They're in their Hobo Day era. Miss Brookings, Malia Eschen Eschenbaum, and Miss Jack's teen, Evie Johnson, are here this morning. These young women and many others across the state of South Dakota have earned scholarships from Miss America to further their educations. Malia and Evie would like to thank the Brookings and SDSU communities for their support as they prepare to end their year of service this coming winter. Will you be the next Miss Brookings or Miss SDSU? Probably not, Nick. But we have the Brookings Mountain Biking Association they were established to build trails at Dakota Nature Park, enabling all skill levels to get into mountain biking and build on their skills. They want you to get outside and ride. 
These fantastic creations marching down Madari Avenue here are from the School of Design. Design 121 is a first year design course in the School of Design. It include, the School of Design includes majors in architecture, landscape architecture, interior design, graphic design, and studio art. Design 121 introduces students to the fundamentals of art and design. Looking great this morning at School of Design. Here we have distinguished alumnus Gerald Blazy. Blazy, a math and physics major, served as a science advisor in the White House during the Obama administration and concluded a 27-year career at Northern Illinois University on June 30th, retiring as vice president for research and innovation partnerships, an expert in experimental particle physics and science policy. The Brookings native is a fellow of the American Physical Society. Congratulations to distinguished alumnus Gerald Blazy. Miss South Dakota Earth 2023. The Miss Earth USA organization is focused on uplifting women and girls not only through the glamour of the beauty pageant industry, but also through creating positive environmental change. They focus on empowering women to make an impact as they become leaders in their communities with an emphasis on community activism. And here we have distinguished alumna Ann Pergolsky Fox. Pergolsky Fox, a bacteriology and biology graduate, is a distinguished professor and director for the Center of Molecular Microbiology at the University of Florida. Her research developed a patented technology to identify early disease markers for periodontal disease that affects more than 50 million people annually. She is a fellow of the National Academy of Inventors. Congratulations to distinguished alumna Ann Pergolsky Fox. Next up, you'll hear the Ipswich Tigers marching band. They are excited to end their marching season here at the Hobo Day Parade after marching in four other competitions this season. They're a younger band this year after losing 20 seniors last year. Many students had to step up into new roles and they are doing an amazing job. They would like to thank SDSU and the Brookings community for this wonderful opportunity. Good morning to the Ipswich Tigers marching band. Thanks so much for being here. that raises money to assist police officers in personal crises or who are injured in the line of duty. Now we have one of our regents, Brock Brown. Happy Hobo Day. Next is the ASCES Concrete Canoe and Steel Bridge Competition Teams. Concrete Canoe and Steel Bridge are student competition teams through the award-winning SDSU chapter of the American Society of Civil Engineers. Competing both regionally and nationally, these teams work throughout the academic year to model designs and bring them to life. And yes, the canoe really does float. Some more tiaras coming down Madari Avenue this morning. Welcome to the SDRA Rodeo Queens. Rodeo Queens from the Faith Stock Show and Rodeo, Esteline Rodeo, and Newell Labor Day Rodeo Queens. I think I misread that. We actually have the National American Miss Teen South Dakota group. 
Ava Hyla, the National American Miss Teen of South Dakota. National American Miss is so much more than just a pageant. Their program is carefully designed to grow your confidence, teach you lifelong skills such as interviewing, public speaking, and presenting yourself in front of an audience, all while gaining the competitive edge to succeed in whatever fields you may choose in your future, emphasizing the importance of developing real world skills and shaping the future leaders of tomorrow. Here we have District 7 Representative Roger DeGroote. Good morning and happy Hobo Day. Here we have Jack's Start Abroad. Jack Start Abroad is the premier first-year student international education program. First-year students travel to Ireland, Belgium, New Zealand, Netherlands, France, and Germany to gain knowledge and experience and start on a path of intercultural learning. We have some fans. The Rotary Club of Brookings is a local service organization. Their motto is service above self. They participate in service projects throughout Brookings, South Dakota, and even worldwide. Everyone is welcome to join. Thank you, Brookings Rotary Club. A very happy Hobo Day to the South Dakota Public Utilities Commissioner, Christy Feagan. We are so proud that she is an SDSU alum. Here we have the SDSU Robotics Club. Students in the SDSU Robotics Club represent numerous majors, primarily heralding from the Jerome J. Lohr College of Engineering. The Robotics Club focuses on personal and professional development through the facilitation of numerous challenges, competitions, projects, and contracted opportunities. Students can grow and learn through the Autonomous Sprayer Project, Collegiate Combat Robotics, MATE ROV Competition, and VEXU Tournaments. You may be seeing some extra special floats from some South Dakota State University student organizations in our parade this morning. Many of these floats are participants in the Fantastic Floats program. The Hobo Day Committee administers a grant program, the Fantastic Floats program, for student organizations at SDSU so that they can build be big, better, and more fantastic floats. This year, the Hobo Day program was able to sponsor 26 grants for a total of $7,000 with the generous help of donors and alumni of Hobo Day. The Fantastic Floats program was started in 2012 to reinvigorate the Hobo Day Parade on the 100th anniversary of our homecoming tradition.
Here we have the Commissioner of School and Public Lands, Brock Greenfield. A very happy Hobo Day to the Snow Hares. South Dakota State Snowmobile Club is upkeeping the tradition of safe, safe snowmobiling while providing riding and volunteering opportunities for all. And it looks like they won a fantastic float award for most creative. Congratulations and happy Hobo Day to the Snow Hares. Coming up next, we have the Brookings Lions Club. Since 1951, the Brookings Lions Club has been part of the world's largest service club organization with 1.4 million members serving in over 200 countries. Their global and local causes include vision, diabetes, environment, hunger, and childhood cancer. Their motto is we serve. Happy Hobo Day to the Brookings Lions Club. Very happy Hobo Day to Chris Nelson, our South Dakota Public Utilities Commissioner, another SDSU alum. Marching down Madari Avenue this morning, we have the Watertown Arrows Marching Band. The Watertown Arrows Marching Band is made up of 129 students in grades 9 through 12. The Arrows Marching Band would like to thank SDSU for the opportunity to march in this year's Hobo Day Parade. Go Jackrabbits! Thanks so much for being here with us. Watertown Arrows Marching Band. Following the Watertown Arrows Marching Band is the SDSU Geography Club. This club helps disseminate the discipline of geography within the university and the general public. The Geography Club is a student-run organization that hosts regular meetings, provides volunteer opportunities, and organizes the longest-run student convention in the state. Outside of SDSU, the club travels to conferences where students present their research and can listen to other collegiate research presentations. Nick, where would we be without geography? Who can say, truly? A very happy Hobo Day and congratulations to the College of Agriculture, Food and Environmental Sciences Teacher of the Year, Bob Thaler. And happy Hobo Day to Downtown Brookings. Downtown is the heart of the community. Downtown Brookings is the nonprofit organization dedicated to the growth and prosperity of our vibrant neighborhood. They create an inviting, engaging, and authentic experience for all. We love downtown Brookings. Happy Hobo Day. And up next, we have the Mount Cavalry Lutheran Student Fellowship. They proclaim Christ crucified. Mount Cavalry Lutheran Student Fellowship is a group of students who gather together to socialize, study scripture, and serve our neighbors. We have regular Bible studies Sundays in the Union from 8 to 9 p.m. and many other social events throughout the year. Next up, we have our Students Association President and Vice President, Trinity Peterson and Hayden Bentz. Good morning to the gentleman from Alpha Gamma Rho. Founded in 1964, Alpha Gamma Rho is a men's agriculture fraternity that promotes academic rigor and professional character building among students of agriculture. Their motto, to make better men, is the foundation of their fraternity and is the driving force behind all their actions. Go Jags. 
followed by Sigma Phi Epsilon. SIGEP was founded on the cardinal principles of virtue, diligence, and brotherly love. Their mission is building balanced men, which is achieved through a commitment to a sound mind and sound body. They are committed to working with their host institutions as valued partners in higher education. Looking sharp, gentlemen. Next, we have Sodak Spurs. Sodak Spurs Soccer Club is based in Brookings, South Dakota, with its mission to inspire players and coaches to achieve their individual highest potential by providing the necessary soccer environments, opportunities, and pathways while enabling them to become lifelong supporters of the game. Good morning and happy Hobo Day to the Sodak Spurs Soccer Club. I see a 2023 champion banner there, Nick. Pretty impressive. Way to go. Next, we have Wild Hair Racing. WHR is a student organization at SDSU that designs, fabricates, tests, and races an open wheel formula style race car every year from the ground up. The car is built for Formula SAE, which is the Society for Automotive Engineers, a collegiate design competition started in 1979. Each year, they take their newly built car to the competitions to compete against other colleges from all around the world. I think I've seen this morning. We have the Jackrabbit Agriculture Technology and Engineering Club. The SDSU Quarter Scale Tractor Team is a student-led organization which designs and fabricates a quarter-sized pulling tractor to compete with 20 other universities at the ASABE International Quarter Scale Tractor Student Design Competition. Teams utilize a standard engine but build their own unique design and are scored based on design reports, durability, maneuverability, and tractor pulling. STSU has won international champion in 2023, 2022, and 2018. The like JTEC Club is an organization dedicated to helping students within the College of Ag, Food, and Environmental Sciences, Network, and Meat Industry Professionals. Looks like they won best overall float this year. Pretty cool. Well deserved from what I can see. Next up, we have the Windside Wildcat Marching Band. They are proudly representing the Windside Public School and Community. This is the band's third trip to Brookings. We are so thrilled to have them back. They placed first in Class B in 2021, which was their last time here. It's a long way for them to come, but the band loves the great response they've received from all the spectators. Let's welcome the Windside Band this morning. Thank you for being here, Windside. from the Boys and Girls Club of Brookings, an after-school and summer child care program. For $25 a year, they serve youth in first through 12th grade. They also offer an early childhood education and continuing education center for preschool and kindergarten youth. The Boys and Girls Club of Brookings focuses on three priority outcomes, academic success, healthy lifestyles, character, and leadership. Good morning and happy Hobo Day to folks from the Boys and Girls Club. Very happy Hobo Day to the American Indian Student Association. Their mission is to unite and advocate for the American Indian student population on the South Dakota State University campus. AISA has created a strong sense of community while providing opportunities for fellow students to engage in social and cultural activities on campus. AISA is dedicated to offering a safe space for American Indian students and their allies to come together and discuss the issues and experiences that define their college experience. Good morning, AISA. Next, we have the SDSU Dairy Club. The Dairy Club is a place for people who love dairy animals and products 
<laughs> can get together to share their stories and learn more about the industry. They assist in the education of dairy by setting up many different tours, speakers, and other events throughout the year. Who doesn't love dairy products? <laughs> dairy Club. And our dairy friends are followed by Alpha Psi Omega. They are a national co-ed honor society organized to provide community service, leadership development, and social opportunities for college students. Here at SDSU, they provide students and the community with a variety of entertainment shows and events located around campus for all to enjoy. Looks like the capers theme this year is capers goes to the movies. We're breaking free. I might still know the choreography to that song. <laughs> Next we have the State Line All-Stars, a youth competitive cheer program founded in 2022 by head coach Nicole Bai. The program is based out of Elkton, South Dakota and is made up of athletes in third through sixth grade from both South Dakota and Minnesota. State Line All-Stars is a half season cheer program that runs from August through December. These athletes will compete at two local competitions and perform at multiple local events throughout their season. They are followed by the SDSU Soil Judging Team. The Soil Judging Team faces off against other schools in soil judging competitions around the Midwest. Judging is done by describing and classifying soil for land use interpretations. The team is recruiting new undergraduate members for a competition this spring. And remember, judge soils, not people. Are you ready to tackle the home buying or selling process? Don't fumble your way through it. Call the best team of real estate agents in town at Best Choice Real Estate. Their playbook of strategic moves will not only get you to the end zone, but help you win the game. Best Choice Real Estate has been number one in the Brookings market for over 25 years. Call them at 692-9200 or visit their website at brookingshomes.com. Up next, we have folks from the Pope Pius XII Newman Center. Woo! The Newman Center is the Catholic home on campus. They provide a space to encounter the Lord through sacraments, prayer, and community. They offer daily Mass and confession and Sunday Mass at 10.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. They are pursuing and promoting sainthood through fellowship aimed at eternal life. And they are followed by Jacks for Life. Jacks for Life is an organization on SDSU's campus that seeks to activate and inspire students and community members. Members of Jacks for Life work to save lives threatened by induced abortion and euthanasia, while also seeking to promote all stages of life from conception till natural death at the local, state, and national levels. It is their goal to educate the public, peers, and themselves on life issues and to help those whose quality of life is being threatened. Next, we have the PRCA Rodeo Queens. These ladies are the representatives and ambassadors for various professional rodeos throughout South Dakota. Joining us today, we have Jordan Jensen, Miss Rodeo Aberdeen. Uh, she is back in her hometown of Brookings this morning. We also have Callie Muller, Miss Watertown Rodeo. Gracie Hill, Miss Crystal Springs Rodeo in Clear Lake. And Caitlin Westfall, Miss Days of 76 in Deadwood. A very happy Hobo Day to the Dubrook High School Marching Band. The Dubrook Marching Dolphins consist of students in grades 7 through 12 at Dubrook Area High School. They're excited to make a comeback at the Hobo Day Parade this year and can't wait to show off their new street show, Let's Go. Originally called Jerk It Out and composed by the Swedish group The Caesars, Let's Go exploded in popularity within the meme music scene in 2019 thanks to Louis John's viral Instagram Stylophone remix. Featuring the Dolphin Drumline, Let's Go summarizes the Marching Dolphin's attitude, work ethic, and reignited energy for the marching arts. Let's go! Here we have the SDSU Armed Forces Association. The Armed Forces Association aims to provide an open atmosphere for networking and campus involvement for current service members, veterans, and veterans' dependents attending SDSU. Happy Hobo Day! Next up, we have Chi Omega and Pi Kappa Alpha. An enthusiastic greeting. Chi Omega is 
the world's largest sorority with over 402,000 women. Together they create lifelong friendships, get involved in helping campus and community, and strive to be womanly always and discouraged never. With over 250,000 initiates, Pi Kappa Alpha is dedicated to developing personal growth and setting up men for a successful future. As a fraternity, they emphasize values like leadership, scholarship, and service while maintaining a strong presence in chapters throughout the United States and Canada. We also have the Brookings Rage Lacrosse Club. Brookings Local Lacrosse Club was created to give kids a chance to play lacrosse in Brookings, South Dakota. They provide for ages U10 through U18. And a happy Hobo Day to the Emergency Medical Services Club. They are a great opportunity for students that have an interest in EMS or first aid to get involved. The club educates students on basic life support skills and hosts events in the interest of improving health in our community. Up next is the Miller High School Rustler Regiment. The Miller High School Rustler Regiment has been a staple of the Hobo Day Parade for over 30 years. Thank you for being here. Known as the Green Band with the Bells, the regiment has performed on national stages, including performance, performances in Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. Medal Gymnastics. Recreational and team gymnasts from Gold Medal Gymnastics are aged five and up. They enjoy tumbling for enjoyment and would like to say, Go Jacks! Good morning, Gold Medal Gymnasts. we have the SDSU Human Powered Vehicle Team. They're an engineering club on campus that design, build, and test a recumbent trike every year. They receive third place nationally last year out of 22 teams and plan on improving their rank this year. Congratulations and happy Hobo Day to the Human Powered Vehicle. Following them, we have the SDSU College Republicans. This club is founded to advance the interest of and active participation of young people in politics to aid them to become more intelligent voters and citizens to instill in their minds a sound political philosophy that will influence their future lives. Good morning, College Republicans. Up next is Brookings County 4-H. 4-H provides a strong foundation of life skills through projects and programs that promote good character, confidence, and personal development. 4-H longevity is made possible because of a strong core of volunteers. Join our tradition. Join 4-H. Say it with me, Maddie. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty. Something service for my club and community. All the world. Close enough. Close Something enough. Something like that. <laughs> I'm a, a proud former 4 h -er. And a good morning to the Desert Hair Off-Road. They are a Baja team based out of SDSU that designs and builds an off-road racer every year. This year, they're traveling to Williamsport, Pennsylvania to compete against 100 other collegiate teams. The competition includes design and cost analysis, along with maneuverability, suspension, and endurance courses. Coming up next is the Children's Museum of South Dakota. The Children's Museum of South Dakota promotes learning for children of all ages and abilities through interactive, informal, hands-on exhibits. The museum is a place that sparks imagination for children and their grown-ups through play, creativity, and discovery. 
Representing the museum in the parade are members of the museum's youth advisory board, the Cadoodle Council. We are also joined this morning by the Wildlife and Fisheries Conservation Club. The Natural Resource Department clubs are represented by the Wildlife and Fisheries Conservation Club, the Botany Club, the Ecology Club, and the American Fisheries Society Student Subunit. The clubs strive to build professional skills to prepare members for their future in their chosen field of conserving and managing natural resources. Good morning to the Brookings Curling Club. The Brookings Curling Club encourages people of all ages and abilities to participate in this fun, community-centered winter sports. Go Jackrabbits. A happy Hobo Day to the gentlemen of Delta Chi. Delta Chi is one of the nine Greek fraternities affiliated with SDSU. They're built on the core values of promoting friendship, developing character, advancing justice, and assisting in the acquisition of a sound education. We also have the American Institute of Architecture students. Happy Hobo Day! The American Institute of Architecture students is an independent, nonprofit, student run organization dedicated to advancing leadership, design, and service among architecture students. The AIAS aims to promote excellence in architectural education, training, and practice to foster an appreciation of architecture and related disciplines, to enrich communities in a spirit of collaboration, and to organize students and combine their efforts to advance the art and science of architecture. A very cool parade entry this morning by the South Dakota FFA Foundation. They provide premier leadership, personal growth, and career success to students through edu agricultural education. The South Dakota FFA Foundation supports and finances leadership development for FFA members and chapters, rewards successes, and creates awareness of ag careers, ag business opportunities, and the needs of a growing and diverse industry. Here we have Sigma Alpha Epsilon. Happy Hobo Day. SAE is a fraternity dedicated to creating true gentlemen. The gentlemen of Sigma Alpha Epsilon enjoy serving their campus community and the Brookings community. And the Brotherhood is proud of the national accolades, including outstanding on the alumni chapter and zeal nominations. This year, the gentlemen are excited to ride the rails on their model train. Following them, we have the Brookings Disabled American Veterans Chapter 22. They provide support to disabled veterans and their families. In Brookings County, they support the DIV van and provide support to disabled veterans and their families. And we have the Bum Band. Happy Hobo Day to the Bum Band. The 2023 Bum Band consists of Pride of the Dakotas marching band members who have gathered at their own will to perform and entertain all who enjoy the Hobo Day tradition. The Bum Band can be heard throughout Hobo Week, spreading gleeful spirit and a, and a little bit of chaos across the country. The Bum Band elates in happy celebration as they return to the Hobo Day Parade. Thank you, Bum Band. Thank you, Bum Band. Happy Hobo Day. Happy Hobo Day to Farmhouse Fraternity. Yeah. Farmhouse is home to emerging leaders in the community, and they are known as the Builders of Men. Since 1966, Farmhouse has been a proud member of the SDSU and Brookings communities and has a long-standing tradition of participating in the Hobo Day Parade. Good morning, Farmhouse. They've received the Best Hobo Mobile Award this year. Get up there and close that parade gap, Farmhouse. <laughs> up next, we have the SDSU Gender and Sexualities Alliance. The GSA is a student organization formed to provide a safe and welcoming environment for people of all sexualities and gender identities. Happy Hobo Day! And a happy Hobo Day to the Latin American Students Association. LASA's mission is to inform, educate, and provide SDSU students and the community with a better understanding of Latino culture. Good morning, Cameron Nelson. Here we have the SDSU College Democrats. The, SD, the South Dakota State University College Democrats is a progressive campus student organization. As the only Democratic student group, we actively campaign for local, state, and national candidates while supporting progressive policies and programs on campus. 
Let's give a round of applause to our Hobo Day volunteers. Thank you so much to our parade volunteers. You guys have been up early. You're doing a great job. Today would not be possible without the dedicated effort of these volunteers. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been such a pleasure to spend parade morning with you. And let's please recognize the 2023 Hobo Day Committee. The 2023 Hobo Day Committee is led by Grand Puba Marissa Vogt. This group of students has put in an incredible amount of work and dedication this year. Thank you so much for making this day happen for all of us. Your work is incredible. You guys are just some awesome students. Thank you so much. Here we have Grand Puba Marissa Vogt driving the Bummobile, a 1912 Model T Ford. The Bummobile has been with SDSU and has led the Hobo Day Parade for 84 years. And as we close out our parade, we'd once more like to say thank you to Best Choice Real Estate for sponsoring our live stream. Hobo Day is the biggest one day event in the Dakotas, but buying a home is the biggest investment of your life. Make sure you have a loyal agent by your side to guide you through the process. Go big, go blue, and go house hunting. Best Choice Real Estate has been number one in the Brookings market for over 25 years. Call them today at 692-9200 or visit their website at brookingshomes.com. It's been such a joy to spend this morning with you. Happy, happy Hobo Day to you, Brookings, South Dakota. Enjoy your time on campus. Go Jacks!